r slash ask reddit. Wait is what valentine day disasters have you witnessed? I blew my car's tire and my friend came in to bail me out. Were both straight dudes and forgot it was valentine's. Decided to have dinner and both were coming from important meetings so had suits on. We didn't catch on until the end on how the entire wait staff thought we were just the cutest gay couple. I served at a Japanese hibachi restaurant and once had a couple come and the dude dumps her after the meal. She then gets up and throws up a trail probably a good 20 feet as she runs to the bathroom. The dude got up and left the girl and I was left to clean the mess. There was a note in our reservations that it was an engagement, they wanted champagne, a specific seat, bunch of other stuff. The server comes up to the table with something like, so I read we are celebrating an engagement, congratulations. Confusion from the woman, glaring from the guy. He hadn't proposed yet. She ruined it. These two were on a date and the guy went to go use the bathroom, the girl just up and leaves after he went to the restroom. When the guy came back he sat around for a while until asking his waitress where she went. She replied with saying that she left. The guy then asked the waitress if she would go on a date with him. The waitress said no. 042 in one night. Damn. They came in at lunch the day after, so it was pretty empty, but it was still for a Valentine's Day date. They were both pretty nice at the beginning. The guy asked for a picture and whatnot. As the meal went on, the dude got progressively drunker, and by the time I brought the check out, the woman was gone. When the dude gave me his card, he said I'll give you a bit of advice. If you're taking a girl out to break up with her, do it at a McDonald's and not an expensive restaurant. I don't understand why some people think it's a thing to break up at a restaurant. Dump me in private please. If we have plans to go out, dump me beforehand. Not a waiter. But in my strip club bouncer days we had one of our regulars get sweeted up and bring flowers in one v-day to try and woo one of the dancers. It did not work. Pro tip, if every time you'll hang out it involves you giving her money, she is not into you. He proposed, she said no. He cried and tried to change her mind for 20 minutes while she sat there stony faced. She finally got up and walked out. He paid and left in tears. I worked at a pretty high-end Mediterranean bistro. My second Valentine's there it was probably the busiest night I've ever worked as a server. We had reservations that booked basically the entire restaurant including the bar and patio from 4pm to 11pm. No walk-ins were to be seated unless a reservation was cancelled or someone with a reservation didn't show up. Most of the customers were pretty understanding and either waited or simply left. One dude however kept pushing and pushing asking every 10 minutes how much longer until he is seated, constantly saying how he is a regular customer and how his date is going to be there at 7. He got there at 6. We insisted that once a table was available and all the customers before him we are seated, he would get a table, but because the amount of reservations we couldn't guarantee he would even get a table at all. At about 6.50 the guy loses it, fast walks up to the hostess, stand where the reservation book is, grabs the reservation book and practically runs out the front door. Now everything is going to complete shit, because the only copy of the reservations for the night that is barely half over is gone. Two of the owners ran outside to follow the guy and try and get the book back, but by the time they got out he had already left the parking lot. Even better is, two hours later, Chaos is still running rampant and the dude shows back up saying he has a reservation for two. Three of the five of the owners, all brothers, escorted the dude and his date out to the parking lot and banned him from the restaurant permanently. They even took a picture of him and posted it in the window saying, do not serve this man. Not wait staff, but I used to work front desk at a hotel. One valentine's day I was working the night shift and this woman comes down with a cut above her eye looking like she just went a few rounds in the ring with a boxer. Woman starts sobbing and asks us to call the coups which we do immediately. Turns out this girl's boyfriend just beat the shit out of her during a fight and from what I could tell this probably wasn't the first time. So after the cops show up and haul the dude off, my manager offers her a different room on campus we need to leave the guy's stuff where it is for him to pick up the next day. She accepts and I go up with the woman to help her collect her stuff and move to the new room. There were a bunch of bottles of alcohol in the room and she donated them to the front desk staff. I got a bottle of hypnotic and some vodka. 
Manager got a bottle of Patron. Cherry on top of everything. The dude's wife called later that night saying someone had stolen his card as he was out of town on a business trip. Never want to defend an abuser. I told her where she could find her husband. Fun times. I had a section 1 v day that had a marriage proposal, a 40th anniversary, and a breakup all at the same time. The breakup was the worst. The guy brought his high class date a gift, a mini ceramic bear holding balloons. He presented it when I was at the table and she looked at it like it was a hot turd. I just knew this was not going to end well. She left at the end of the meal and must have said something because he stayed at the table for another 40 minutes, head down and crying. I felt bad, he saw the celebrations going on at the other tables. Not a waiter, but I was a pastry chef at this big resort in Cape Cod. We got a special order from this guy who was coming in for his anniversary, Valentine's Day. He wanted his desert to have, will you marry me, written on it, so he could pop the question, when it came out. He called ahead to the front and back kitchen, even came in himself, that morning to make sure it was good to go. The whole crew was behind him. We had cooks all night coming in the ask, if it had happened yet. I wrote the inscription on the plate, and dressed it to the nines with gold leaf and expensive chocolate. I'm taking a picture of the plate, just before it's set to go out, and notice our head waiter come in with a weird look on his face. He says plainly they don't need it. She broke up with him before the entrees hit the table. A guy did a backflip, and asked a girl to be his valentine. She declined. I walked up to him, and asked if he was fine. He said it took him a week to perfect. I was eating in a fine dining establishment, Chili's, several years ago. In the next booth was a really young guy who had a big bunch of roses on the seat next to him. He kept looking at his watch, looking at the roses, and popping open a ring box for a peek at the ring. He did this for a half hour or so, then began calling and texting someone, presumably his girlfriend, over and over. As we were waiting for our check, he hands my wife the roses, mumbled something, and walked out. Poor guy. A guy proposed to his girlfriend, and she said no. The guy threw his arms up, and ran out of the building. Later, while waiting for someone to pick her up, she told us it was completely out of the blue, because they'd only been dating for a few months. Another V-Day, a guy raised a huge fuss over the fact that we wouldn't serve liquor to his underage girlfriend. A 16 year old boy proposed to a 15 year old girl with a cheap ring and the whipped cream of her dessert. She said yes. So romance isn't quite dead yet. 16 years in hospitality gives you some good stories. The most awkward. My first job as a waitress a guy wanted to propose to his girlfriend. He came in 2 months before to book and had everything figured out. He planned to pop the question during dessert. We had champagne, balloons, and sparklers prepped for the big moment. The time comes. He drops to one knee gives a speech about his love for her. He asks. She says no. Puts the ring in her bag. Finishes her dessert and leaves. Quite possibly the most awkward thing I have had to witness. Alongside around 200 other people. The manager gave him everything for free he felt that bad for him cringed inside every time I saw him after that. The most ducked up. I was working as a duty manager, and one of the tills kept dropping off the network. As I was trying to fix it, I could clearly hear the conversation of the table by the waiter station. It started out sweet enough with her excitedly telling him she was pregnant. He went quiet, and didn't say anything for a bit, and then asked her what the plan was. She said she was keeping the baby. He said he didn't want kids, and had told her this. She got upset, and said she thought he'd be happy, and change his mind, when he found out. By this point I fixed the till, but am unable to step away from this car crash. Turns out she stopped taking the pill without telling him thinking she could turn him around. He said he knew she could be a little nuts sometimes but this was next level. He told her it was over, and she could send someone to collect her things as he wanted nothing more to do with her. He called me over to pay the bill and just left. The guy never even shouted, he just calmly went fuck this, and noped out of there. I couldn't even look her in the eye, just left her to leave in her own time. The, the funniest, managing hotel room service, where there was a valentine's package that included getting each course of the special menu delivered to your room. More than a few couples thought it was a good idea, to call for the next course, and then start having sex. 
Having to help with deliveries as reception fucked up the bookings. I had the privilege of people answering the door naked, seeing sex toys strewn around, and one where the other members of the threesome were carrying on in the background. After complaints of similar instances from my team I had to take action. I ended up having to call the offending guests and tell them if they could not respect my team by answering the door in at least a closed dressing gown they could come down and collect the rest of their meal from the restaurant. Bonus from the same night, had to call an ambulance for a woman with a dislocated shoulder. The guy admitted that they were trying to recreate a buck ache type scene in the shower using conditioner as the cum. He slipped in the conditioner and fell on her. Old man proposed to old woman. He tried to get off the chair to kneel, tripped and fell, and I assume broke something, since he couldn't get back up, and we had to call an ambulance. My manager had to drive her teeth to the hospital separately, because she had taken them out to eat a soup, lord knows why, and left them on the table in the confusion. In college I waited tables and Valentine's Day was always a good one in terms of tips. I once saw a couple come in to eat, halfway through the dinner the man's wife shows up to surprise the couple. The wife took the wine bottle and poured the remnants on the husband's head, took off her ring, and told the girlfriend she could have him. He tipped me a $100. You gotta think that your wife might think something is up when you're busy on Valentine's Day. I was the manager of a wings and pizza place with a full bar, definitely not the kind of place you'd take someone for a romantic Valentine's Day dinner, but it was still busy because some people aren't very tactful. We had a guy who had called ahead and asked if we could put a ring in a dessert for him and of course, we obliged. He dropped the ring off the day ahead, and I put it in the safe in our office to keep it secure. Fast forward to Valentine's Day, the couple shows up, and they are so obviously in love that she didn't seem to notice or care about the fact that he had brought her to a middle of the road place with a sports bar atmosphere on the most romantic day of the year. They ordered champagne, well, the local winner is best sparkling white, entrees, and it was almost time for dessert. I had used my chef skills to whip up a special chocolate strawberry tart that wasn't on the menu just for this occasion, because why not try to make their night at least a little fancy? I went to the safe to get the ring, and it wasn't there. I was freaking out big time. I asked everyone there if they knew what the duck had happened to it. My assistant manager on site had no idea, so I called my other assistant, who also had the safe code, and they didn't know either. Finally, my bar manager mentioned that one of the owners had been in earlier and spent a little time in the office. So, at my wit's end, I called the owner. It turns out that he had seen the ring in the safe and thought it was something a customer had left behind. Figuring that he had come into an extremely lucky situation, he decided, like the scumbag he was, that he'd take it for himself and save money on a gift for his wife on Valentine's. So, I asked the server and bar manager to help stall the couple. The server told them that we were going to do something special for their big date and to hold tight. I ran out, hopped in my car, and rushed to get the ring from the owner's house because he was, as I had mentioned, a scumbag and didn't want to be bothered with bringing the ring to the restaurant himself. The bar manager went over to the table and did some complicated tableside cocktail mix that had a bunch of flair bartending tricks and ended with a flaming shot that once dropped into the rest made it smoke. I was really disappointed when I heard about all of this because I would have loved to see it instead of breaking a ton of traffic laws on my quest to get the ring. Finally, I rushed back in after about 15 minutes of being on the brink of a heart attack, placed the ring on the dessert, and had their server take it out. At that point, just about the entire staff was watching the table, and when we saw the look on her face, my heart finally started beating again. She said yes. And, I started looking for someone else to work for the very next day. I was working as a waitress in a sushi restaurant and Valentine's Day was an all hands on deck shift. This guy I had just started seeing wanted to go out, but I told him that working in food service, you never get Valentine's Day off, and we just have to celebrate the day after, or the weekend after. Nope. He got so upset that he went and asked a different girl out, came to the restaurant I worked at on V-Day, and sat in my section. He then proceeded to spend the entire evening making a fool out of himself and making his date uncomfortable as he tried to make me jealous. Needless to say we didn't go out again. Ever.